All right, just a disclaimer. I started learning or like yesterday, so I'm a newbie. So this is kind of the soft talk of the conference. Every conference has one, this is it, so don't expect much. So I'm here to tell you that Erlang can be dangerous to you. But the first question I have is who here has ever been fired from a job? Please raise your hand. Keep it up. Don't lie, you're among friends, you can do it. You can fire twice, raise them both. Laid off or fired. Either one. There you go. All right. Of those people, who wants that job back? Nobody <laughs> wants that job back. And that's why I think getting fired is good. Amen. <laughs> and getting fired was the best thing that ever happened to me next to getting married, having kids, getting a house, but it was pretty good. It sucked at the time. I didn't like it. But it was good that made me think, well, why did I get fired? Is this really what I want to do? Is this really where I want to be? And it helps you think about where am I going, you know? Getting fired can really help you refocus where you are, what you're doing, and are you happy? So that leads me to the next question. What is your job? And the answer is, your job is not where you go every day. Your job is you. You go to work to earn money and to do work for those people, but in the end, what you're really trying to do is make your life better. You're trying to make money so you can live. You're trying to be satisfied, have a satisfying career, if you will. But in the end, you've got to invest in yourself. And if you take care of that and you invest in your career and your abilities, then your company is going to benefit and they'll want to keep you around. Part of the reason I got fired was I've been there for nine years. I was having a great time, doing very good work, but the company changed and I didn't change with it. I didn't continually reinvest in my experience and my abilities. And when they went in a different direction, I wasn't as much of a value as they needed. So in the end, I want you to ask yourself, am I doing what I want to do? Is my job, myself, am I being profitable? Am I getting out of this what I want to? So now I want to talk about how Erling can get you fired. And since you guys are here, Erling is not going to get you fired. All your coworkers who are back at home, sitting around, watching basketball, they're getting fired. <laughs> because you guys are here, you're investing in your career, you're trying to make yourself better, you're trying to provide more value to your company, and you need to keep doing that all the time. And it's fun, we enjoy it. But it's very important to keep that focus about, you know, not just being complacent where you are and actually moving forward. And so that's why I hope you all will take the time to think about what happens if I get fired tomorrow. You know, what would you do? What would you study? Where would you want to go? Do you really want to be in the same field? Do you want to do something else? So even if you aren't fired, and I hope you're not, I just want you to take the mental exercise and just think about what's going to happen. How would I recover from that? Where do I want to go? And so that's pretty much all I have. And to end it up, I just hope you all get fired very soon so you can have this good experience and go on to a better life and a better career. <laughs>